It's the King, King J, back with another video. We have Ling Xiaoyu, the master of Art of Phoenix. Now, this character is pretty stance heavy, back turn heavy as well, likes to give mix ups from back turn. So you're gonna have to be careful if you're fighting against her, but if you're watching this guy to learn her, yeah, you need the back turn and the AOP. If you wanna learn more about Ling Xiaoyu, I advise you to go and check out Mr. Croft's YouTube channel. Other than that, I'm just gonna give you some tips and things that I think you should use with this character. So yeah, let's get into the guide. All right, so we're gonna get into Ling Xiaoyu. Now, Ling Xiaoyu base, bases her game plan on AOP, which is distance and back turn. She has a lot of stuff from back turn where it confuses the opponent. And there's moves that lead her into back turn. So I'm gonna go over her key moves and show you moves that lead her into back turn, show you her AOP stance, which goes under highs, mids, and some lows. And her other stance which is hypnotist as well but i'm only going to show you the options that i think would be suitable for you so moving on we're going to go into the key moves so we've got one down two and we've got two one now these moves you can stay facing forward by holding forward so one down two you just hold forward and she spins and then two one she stays facing forward by just holding forward she was at back uh, a back turn move that is down back two. Now this move is good because it leads you into your back turn stuff. So as you can see, you're only minus A, it's not bad. So her back turn stuff, I'll show you later on. But yeah, this is your key move into getting into back turn outside of manually doing it by pressing back three plus four, right? So you have Free, which is a 14 frame launcher and knock down as well very fast move but this move is now minus in Tekken 7 it never used to be punishable from what I can remember so you've got one plus two which as you can see on block is minus seven not punishable but this move for me knocks down. I think it's a good move. Three plus four, counter hit. This will launch the opponent. Very, very good move. And if you want to stay, in, if you want to go into AOP, you just press down. So like, look, if I do it, if I do it normally, I I don't go into AOP. But if I hold down, I go into AOP. So yeah, you got forward one plus two, which is a shoulder barge. This move is very good. It's a 12 frame punish, knockdown. Let me put it on stand block. Is launched. So you can't just throw it out, but yeah, this is if you got like a 12 frame or anything lower. It's a quick punish, knocks down. You know, if it's against the wall, you get a wall splat as well. But just be careful. And then you have down forward one, which again, makes her go into back turn stance, which is why I was telling you, most of her key moves lead her to back turn stance because they want you to do the mix ups, right? So you can also do forward, back, back down forward one and then hold forward to stay facing your opponent. So yeah, you also have down back one which is a heat engager so this move is really cool it's like a it's like Paul Phoenix's death fist but I'll say a, a, I'll say it's really really good because it's safe right push back minus nine equals safe Yoshimitsu you can't flash it because you've got a distance between your opponent and the character so yeah you have also as well, so down, down one. So if you want to get out of uh, Art of Phoenix, you can do Art of Phoenix by pressing down. But if you don't want to, you can just press down one by itself. But yeah, if you want Art of Phoenix, you hold down. I think this move is really good. Kind of gets you started for AOP. So I talked about that one. Down back two, told you, down four. Down back four, sorry, this is move. Plus 14, right? So 
I'm going to show you some mini combos in a bit with that because plus 14 allows you to get something very nice. Uh, back one plus two. It's minus 13, but this is a launcher. So this is what you can use to start off your combo. So something like that. So back one plus two, down forward one. Why are you in back turn? One, two. Do it one more time to show you. And then you do your combo ender. You got sidestep four, which is good. Counter hit. Combo. And then obviously you're up forward four. Again, counter hit. You get a combo. Up forward three plus four. This move, I personally think is pretty good, but it's pretty linear as well. Goes, leads you. Oh, sorry, let me do that again. Push you into back turn. And then you can start your offense. So you're only minus one. Full forward three. Push you into back turn. Full forward four. Push you into hypnotist stance. And running free as well. Sorry, whoops, let me do that again. Push you into AOP. So then you can do what you want to do from AOP. So now, whole tornado stuff, you can do, so let's do that again. And block, sorry, my bad, let me take it off block. So you can do forward three, one, four. You could also do up back three. You could also do up back four. And then, like I said, the back turn, which is the easier, co like easy combo is down forward one, which sends you into back turn stance, and then just do one, two. So, do it one more time. One, two for back turn. Then you've got your combo, right? Now, before I get into AOP, we'll talk about the while standing stuff. While standing four knocks down, which is 11 frames, very fast. We've got while standing one, four, which leads you into back turn, which I think is good. And then while standing two is the move you want to fish for count here, right? Because you get a combo. So the way how you probably do that is literally you can you could do any of the moves that I said like it's any of the moves that put you into plus. Try and make sure that she's I don't I don't want to say like oh you, you can't throw it out, but I do feel like you can because let me do it again. You're only minus three. So it's not really a big deal. Do you to see what I'm saying? So like, you can throw it out or try to plus frame your opponents so that you can fish for this. Do you know what I mean? We do the combo one more time. There we go. So you could also hold as well. So that, bear that in mind. Because doesn't change the frames, doesn't add any chip, but you could just hold, yeah. So I think they should have maybe have added chip if you hold with Ling Shao Yu, to be fair. But yeah, I don't think no, I don't know if Ling needs any buffs. Do you know what I mean? Full full crouch down for four four. Is this sweep? You could do one, or you and go into AOP by pressing down. But well, you don't even need to press down, sorry. So, or you could do two. Plus five. So, yes, there's, there's, there isn't any change or counter here. Let's do it one more time. Cool. Yes, yeah, so there's no change or counter here. But it's just a good a low, low poke move, I'd say. Crouch block. Yeah, it's not that you ain't you ain't like bad on block. Did I not get it to crouch twice? Let me do it one more time. See what I'm saying? You're like minus seven, minus six. So you can kind of like do both and just be cool. Like there's nothing you ain't losing anything from doing that. And it does decent damage in my opinion. I think it's very decent. For like a low like that. So yeah. Those are the crouching stuff. AOP. 
So the AOP stuff that I think is useful, you could go into AOP manually by pressing down one plus two. You got one four, which is like tornado. Then you've got two one, which is her heater gauger. But bear in mind, it is minus 12. So let's go here. So let me get to block twice. So just be careful, because that move is minus 12. And then you have one plus two, which is also, you could do tornado. So if you had a garden and a combo, this does the tornado. And then you have down one plus two as well, which is a launcher and it's safe on block. Like I, this is what I reckon this is a big key move out of the AOP in my opinion. Because it's safe on block, it's a launcher, you get a combo. And then you could kind of mix that up with, you know, three plus four. So you got the big launch, you got the big down one plus two launcher, and then you got three plus four, which I think will definitely play with your opponent's mind a lot. Because they don't want to eat that big launcher, but at the same time, they don't want to eat the low as well. And the mid, -la the mid launcher. Yeah, they don't want to duck in it, so it's a bit difficult. And then you got three plus four, three plus four. You, I don't know if you really want to use this that much, but you then could like do four, three plus four, two, while standing two, because you'll be in while standing uh, state. So like, if I do this and then they do sorry, do this, do four, three plus four, I'm in a while standing state. So then I get access to while standing moves like this. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. And usually when you roll roll towards someone, they're probably gonna be like, what's he doing? And then by the time they press, you get counter hit with a uh, while standing too, right? So moving on from AOP, I think uh, like, I what to say before I even move on, sorry. AOP is the stance you should be using with this character like a lot because it goes under so much moves, right? This, move, this stance is annoying. So bear that in mind. There are other moves in AOP, but yeah, those are the ones that I think you should use and concentrate on. So we're now gonna get into Hypnotist stance, which is down back one plus two. The only moves I'm gonna show you from this one is two, which is a heat engager, and three. Uh, if I do this, it doesn't change anything, but I just personally think this, this is good. And then two, right? There's other things in Hypnotist, but yeah, those are the ones I think you should concentrate on. And then back turn, her back turn stuff is one, two, which is the tornado attack, which like does the spin so you could do the combo. Two, two, one, which is annoying and does a lot of damage. Then you've got four, which is the big launcher. But again, I would be careful because you it is launch. So be careful. But you I would definitely throw it out. I wouldn't say, oh, don't throw it out because it's launched. Like people get caught off guard. There's no big block stun on it. So yeah, just, just throw it out, but just be careful. You got three plus four, which is like this roll attack that she has. Pretty sick. Let's go back. Doesn't do anything on counter hit. Just like damage buff. All right, so that move has a punch parry effect, which is for one plus two, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out and try and see if we can get Kazuya to do it. And you get that as well, which is quite crazy. So one more time. 46 damage. Crazy. So her back turn is very, 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 very like stressful for your opponent. So let's go back to this. And then we've got back turn four, three plus four, three, three plus four. I mean four, three plus four, three plus four. So this move is pretty annoying, to say the least. So you could do two and get a combo if it hits. And don't worry about using this move in back turn. 
Like I personally think it's by the it's it def, it's minus eleven now, but this goes under stuff. And it's like really annoying me. Right? So yeah, just throw it. Make sure you throw this out at least two or three times. Because you want your opponent to be like, oh, I don't want to press anything. You gotta really enforce the back turn mix-ups to kind of scare your opponent from pressing and make them double guess themselves and then you also have down four which is this big low right it looks slow but it will catch people off guard. but just be careful because if they block it then you're gonna get launched okay so I didn't do crouch block. Do crouch block, sorry, my bad. So it's heavily minus. Heavily, heavily, heavily minus. Right? So before I get into throws, I want to show you some mini combos that she does have. So if you get counter hit forward four, you get forward one plus two. If you get counter hit four again, you get back four one. So let's do it again. If you get counter hit down back four, you get four one plus two. If you get counter hit down back four, you get back four one plus. I mean back four one. Why did I say one plus two? Sorry. Yeah, back four one. So back four one for forward four counter hit, and down back four you get four uh, back four one. Right, back turn. So, down. Sorry, let me do that again. Back turn. I don't think it's even gonna do it that way. Do it one more time. Not that one. Come on, Jay. So like, this PS5 pad is so big. Like so, every time when I press, like one, like one plus two will come up before three plus four which is set to my shoulder buttons. All right, so I'm trying to do down back four, but for some reason, yeah, there we go. Sometimes it, it hits a, a weird axis, which doesn't allow me to do it. As you can see, I'm trying to press down back four, but it's giving me this. All right, let me try, I think it's gonna press in down back early. So see when it hits it, this is plus two, but it actually is plus 14. So with that, so one more time, you get back 4-1 again. But yeah, just be careful of the access. You hear the sound cue, so. Back 4-1 again. And then 4-4-3 four, four, plus 4. Oh, let me do that again. 4-4-3 four, four, plus 4. Our back 4 as well. I didn't list this in key moves, but you can you can add it in somewhere, like maybe throw it out once or twice. But yeah. And then back turn up forward one. Into while standing four. So then that becomes a combo. You could do it without key charge as well. So you don't need to hear no sound cue. So that's pretty, pretty cool. This character has a lot of stuff. All right, so with the throws, I'm only gonna show you three throws that I think you should concentrate on when it comes to Ling Xiaoyu. So she has four two plus three, which is her Wang's Wanning Moon. And uh, you could get a follow up and you could get a combo. And then you've got it from back turn as well. So you could do the same forward two plus three from back turn. And then you also have down forward two plus four which breaks the, floor, breaks the floor. So if you've got a floor break stage, that will break that will break the floor. Then you've got up, forward, one plus two. So yeah, these throws are the key throws that I think you should concentrate on when you're using Ling Shayu as a beginner. So he engages our down back one. Back four one. Back turn one plus two four. Then we also have Hypno 2. 
and then AOP 2-1. Right? When you're in heat, you get access to two moves, which is forward 2-1-2. Two, two. On, on block, this is a nightmare. So let me get them to block again. I didn't know they were doing crouch blocks. Down block again one more time. You can engage on. Plus six, right? You do not want to press there. Because if this hits you, your next move is coming out 16 frames, so like if off 17. So this is going to counter hit you. So you got to be careful. And then they have four forward one, two. Same thing, back turn. So let me do that again. Forward one, four forward one, two. And you can hold forward as well to stay standing, but you'll be plus four. You see, what is it? Forward, forward, two, one. Same thing. You can hold forward again, and you will be plus four instead of plus six. So, yeah, if you want to be a troll as well, I know that, you know, we're in that type of generation where people like to troll as well. You can do uh, one plus three plus four. And you could do two plus two plus three plus four. And you could and you could do this for back turn. So like you could do back turn and hold three plus four. Hold on. Let me try to see if I could do it that way. So you turn, hold three plus four. And just press two. So yeah, I don't know why I'm telling you this because I don't want to start breeding up trolls. But yeah, you can do that if you want to. So yeah, I think other than that, I've pretty much told you the heat engages, the troll stuff, uh, stuff that she can do. Ah, the heat smash is the last thing. All right, so Ling has two heat smashes. So the first one is by standing, facing your opponent. And then the other one is by back turn. And then she goes into hypnostance. And you could stay facing forward by holding forward for that one. So yeah, Ling's game plan, like I said to you, is going into AOP, back turn if you need to, and just mixing up your opponent. Side step four, down back two are really good lows to get you started as well. Get your opponent to open up a bit to kind of like duck. You know, sometimes you're gonna have to kind of commit to like back turn four, you know, add in the throws as well. Like, Wedding Moon is an annoying low, uh, annoying throw, sorry, not low. That obviously people, I like get annoyed by the throw, but then you could also mix up throws, you know, with up forward one plus two, down forward two plus four. That's actually a two break throw. Down back one as well, heat engager, but it's minus, it's minus, but it's not punishable on block. Like these are the things you want to be doing, you know? Down three. I didn't list that in the key moves, but you can add, add that in. So, yeah. Down four, two. Back one plus two for launcher. Down back four. Try to get the counter for your mini combo. So then do your heat engager. There's so much stuff you could do with this character. She's pretty fun. And she's got like trolling aspects as well. So, yeah. Let me know what you lot think about Ling Xiao Yu. Again, I know like the Ling Xiao Yu experts are probably going to be like, they've got extra moves that they would like to add. But again, this is just for the beginners. And I, the character like this, that's in my opinion, is technical. It's pretty hard to like add in all those moves and then expect the beginners to stay around with this character. So I, I'm, I've i pretty much tried my best to just choose the moves that I think you that will be okay with just for you to ha enjoy the character and then move forward to then learn other things. So yeah, I think... If you want to learn Ling Xiao Yu as well, look at like Mr. Croft. He is an amazing player. That that is like he's perfected this character. So yeah, have a look out for him on the YouTube and Twitch. And yes, you lot can take some ideas from him as well. So 
He runs a Ling Nation. So yeah, that's the that's the guy to look at. But other than that, it's been your boy King J signing out. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment, and yeah, we'll be on to the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.